Sailor King of Pen. Ooh. This one's got a fancy custom nib. I have already heated, soaked this in some hot water so that the glue holding the nib unit to this metal section will come undone. All you do is a clean bit of rubber on the grip, clean bit of rubber on the metal thing, break it loose, take it apart. Now the nib unit unscrews with the section because there are tiny ridges you can just barely see there and there and then they're on the inside here like to hold it together so that's that all I gotta do now is clean all the gunky stuff off the threads probably throw it in the ultrasonic cleaner for that and make a new section for it and then what I'm gonna do is take all the trim off of this pin hmm. cap the bands best I can hopefully without breaking anything this will probably have to be cut off because I bet you this band and this band are one piece just like Mont Blanc and Pelican them there's gonna be little tiny metal fins that hold these pieces together so that when the cap is injection molded uh, these, it shows up, you know, like that. So, they, you know, so the cap is built around the bands, basically. Maybe, maybe it comes apart differently. We'll have to see. Thank you for watching. When this is done, it'll be a uh, purple celluloid syringe filler. Should be pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I thought I would show this part here. I didn't think about it a minute ago. Okay, so this isn't held into this, this section with any threading. The section is held to this with the nib unit. So this part here actually screws into there. And this tightens down here, putting pressure, clamping this section to, to between the two pieces. Uh, basically like um, Mont Blanc. Uh, fountain pens are like 146, the 149. Uh, if I were to take this apart, the section would be a loose piece just like that, but and the nib unit threads into the barrel, except on these, you know, they don't have a big metal whoopie-doo coupler in there. Whoopie-doo. Alright, okay.